Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robin Hood portfolio. As always, hope you guys had an awesome, awesome day trading today. All three major indices were in the green, so hopefully you guys had some exposure to that in your portfolios. Kind of wanted to start this video out a little bit different here. You can see I have up my dividend payments. Uh, dividends going all the way back from when I first opened this uh, Robin Hood portfolio account. Uh, as you guys know, I have documented through a number of videos, I'm trying to put together a portfolio that is really uh, based on large market capitalization companies, those companies that have $5 billion or more uh, total value, blue chip stocks that are very well known, uh, essentially stalwarts of their industries, as well as stocks that have a very good dividend payment. I have a few stocks that don't have a dividend payment, but for the most part, the skeleton of my portfolio in each market sector is essentially full of stocks that have very good dividend payments. And the whole idea is to develop a portfolio that's going to be giving a regular and constant dividends throughout the month. And as you can see here, again, starting in August, I'm having companies that are paying throughout each month, September, as we go into October, and then into November here. So the whole idea is that I'm selecting companies really based on, like I said, those three criteria I mentioned before, large market cap, blue chip companies with high dividends. And as I put more uh, equity in each of these companies, these dividend payments will increase. I'm still not uh, fully diversified. I'm still going to be adding probably 40 to 50 more companies to my stocks, uh, to each market sector. And then I'm going to be, again, dollar cost and value cost averaging these companies here. So these uh, dividend payments now are fairly small, but moving forward, these will continue, will continue to increase as I put more equity to each of these companies. And I may uh, sell off a few companies uh, and buy a few companies that uh, aren't currently on my list. I have quite a few companies, like I said, I'm going to be buying into. I still have, in, at least initially, another 40 or 50 companies I'm going to be adding to my portfolio. And then after I do that, I'm going to be coming through the companies and then adding equity, um, like I said, in a dollar cost uh, averaging way as well as using maybe some uh, value cost averaging as well, some more sophisticated uh, ways of funding each of these particular companies. So that's kind of uh, what I'm doing. Just kind of wanted to show you guys exactly uh, what my dividends have been doing. Going to my portfolio now, uh, you can see here a very good day. Uh, the Dow was up, I think, almost 55 points, 0.29%. S&P 500 was up as well, 0.75%. The NASDAQ really responded today after being down about three or four days in a row in the red. It was up 1.1%. Uh, you can see my portfolio did okay, 0.18% up, 3794 gain today. And you can see my overall portfolio has uh, once again breached 20,000 and uh, is currently sitting just above 25.96. A little bit of uh, extra uh, gain there in after hours trading. As I go through my portfolio here, you can see I made a couple new additions to my portfolio. I did go ahead and dollar cost average Pfizer here. You can see on the bottom, I went ahead and bought, there it is, another 25 shares of Pfizer, at, of Pfizer excuse me at 31.95. It's also having a dividend payment coming up in December, $15. Uh, let's see if I can remember what I did today. I also added a share to 3M here. Again, trying to dollar cost average down a few of these stocks. Uh, made a little bit of money on that trade today. Uh, overall, today's return up 266. I also invested into International Paper here, two shares. Uh, again, financials and industrials are doing very well right now. Uh, so I'm kind of putting a little bit of money into both of those sectors. Added to Dow as well. Again, this is uh, materials, industrials. Lost a couple dollars today, but uh, I think moving forward, this is going to be a very good play. And I also added... Let's see if I can find the stock here. Uh, as you know, Bud added this yesterday. I just picked up one share. Uh, today made $1.20. 
That was right after the uh, ex-dividend and dividend uh, cutoff date uh, for that particular stock. Uh, added a couple shares of Apple here as well. Again, just trying to dollar cost average down these stocks a bit. And I believe that was the last play I made today. Yes, that was the last play I made today. So, picked up a few more stocks. Dollar cost averaged a few stocks as well. And uh, as I move forward in the next couple of weeks here before the anticipated federal interest rate hike in December, I'm going to be adding selectively to companies I think are uh, valued... Uh, uh, or at least I think are uh, very good value plays right now. And like I said, I might do a little bit of value cost averaging as well. Not doing it, I guess, necessarily in a traditional sense where I'm putting in a fixed uh, amount of money or fixed uh, value amount into each stock on a regular basis. But as I see stocks that are kind of cheap, I'm going to be adding to those. Uh, like I said, I'm still in the process of adding a lot of stocks. So this is uh, far from uh, done with regards to adding stocks. And there are a few stocks that I'm looking at of getting out of one of those being um, if you guys have seen my videos uh, you know that I made a speculative play with Portola here I really want to get out of this stock probably early next spring hopefully its new breakthrough drug is approved by the FDA that stock jumps up a bit I'm gonna get out of that if I can get out of that with a nice little profit even if I break even that'll be nice learned a lot about uh, the markets uh, with that purchase here so even if I have a few losses there, I learned quite a bit about the markets and buying and selling stocks with that particular trade. One of my first trades on Robinhood, and actually one of my first trades ever buying and selling individual stocks. So a very good learning experience with that, even if I lose a little bit of money. So yeah, just kind of wanted to update you guys on my dividend strategy, how my dividends are playing out, as well as new additions to my portfolio. So hopefully you guys also had a very, very good day trading today. Uh, let me know what you guys are getting into um, and what you guys are doing to prepare for the interest rate hike coming up in December. I think it's a foregone conclusion that that's going to be happening. So let me know what you guys are doing with your portfolios. Uh, as always, if you like my videos, feel free to like, share, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Uh, if you have any good pointers for me, any good stock plays, any big things that you are planning let me know uh, I really want to hear about those especially with you know the uncertainty in the market right now with the election the interest rate hike coming up in December as well as the end of the year I know a lot of plays happen at that time uh, moving into the next tax year so let me know what you guys are doing with your portfolios uh, I guess uh, with that we'll see you guys next video